What's up gamers, this is John with GameStreetOne.com. Quick announcement, I want you guys to know that GameStreetOne.com is now mobile friendly. So what does that mean exactly? Well, uh, as most of you guys know, I launched GameStreetOne.com a little over a year ago, going on about a year and a half. And the site's going well, every month is getting busier and busier, and I appreciate you guys' the support, it's been awesome, we've got a lot of great contributors. I've got a lot of new contributors as well that I wanted to do some quick shout outs on, you guys should definitely check them out. But one thing I noticed was that I was getting about 20% of the traffic from the site or more was coming from mobile devices. And one thing I noticed on my end was that the site was taking a long time to load. And not only that, but sometimes when you try to load the site on your phone, it would crash because there's so much on the site itself through your phone. So I decided to, uh, to have Ziki Interactive, uh, who helped me build the site. They, they created a mobile uh, website for me. So basically, if you go to GameStudy1.com on your phone, it automatically will load and it, it's quick. And why would you want to go to GameStudy1.com? Well, there's some great contributors on there, not, not only uh, stuff that I post on there, but we've got some great reviewers. So, for example, I want to say uh, these are some recent ones that have joined the site. Uh, ben Rowland, he doesn't do any video reviews per se, but he, um, he does written articles of some games. Uh, great guy, uh, definitely knows his gaming stuff. Next one is Eric from Crossroads Reviews. That's with one S at the, at the very beginning, Cross with one S. And he uh, not only is uh, retro-focused, but he's also modern-focused as well. So that's something interesting about the site is it's, it's definitely very uh, retro-focused, but there's also modern stuff there, which is great. But uh, he had a video on there recently talking about possibly the next Sega console, if, if I don't know what you guys think about that. But uh, he, had, he had some information that he found that possibly could hint towards that. Who knows? It's hard to see. But uh, also uh, living in 8-bit. Uh, this show, high production value, very underrated. I can't believe not more people know about these guys. Um, but they bring 8-bit situations that you'd find like an NES game, and they apply it to real-life situations. It's a comedy, great acting, great guys. Uh, Guru Larry, a lot of you guys know Guru Larry. Uh, he, does, he posts his uh, retro reviews on there. Uh, Michael B., the Game Genie. He's a Canadian, does great reviews on retro gaming. He's a big NES collector. He's just post recently posted a video on showing his NES collection, which is over 400 games. Uh, he's got a great display, uh, awesome guy. Uh, Mike Tendo, uh, he uh, does some retro reviews, and not only that, but he has like music that he ties in with it. You'll have to see what I mean when you watch some of his reviews. Very funny. And his show is called uh, DYHPTG. It stands for, dude, you haven't played this game? And uh, it, it's really funny. Next is the NES Pursuit, Ricky and Aaron. These guys go out and hit up uh, the local swap meets, uh, also uh, pick up games, and, and they, they're really funny. Uh, if you like the Game Chasers, kind of in that style of video, um, super good guys. A Stone Age Gamer, great guy as well. Tiger Claw TV, he's been around on YouTube for a while. He does more retro game stuff, but he recently posted a, a PC game that just came out, and he did a review on that. And uh, video game seller, Scott, uh, he's kind of on the other side of things. He actually uh, sells video games as well at, at these swap meets. And he goes to garage sales and super funny, um, him and his crew. So those are some guys who recently joined the site. But uh, I have a lot of other great contributors on there as well. If you know Metal Jesus Rocks, he posts his stuff on there. In addition, I post my stuff on there as well. Uh, for example, I have some exclusive stuff I put there. So I do a, a, a weekly history of video game consoles and I go through the very beginning first console to working on the modern ones, and I do a little article about the history of them, so that's exclusive to the site. Also post my videos on the site before it goes up on YouTube. And in some cases, I, it, there, there are extended versions of the review. So uh, I'll put a link below. Uh, let me show you kind of the difference of the site and how it's laid out now. Uh, thanks again, guys, for your continued support. Let's take a closer look. Uh, this will, of course, work on an iPhone as well. If you have a tablet or an iPad, it will load the normal site because the normal site will load quickly on those tablets and devices. But let's go to Game Studio One. Let's go to the original site, how it was laid out before, and I'll show you uh, how, um, how it wasn't ideal uh, for getting, getting onto the site. You time it here. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun uh, running a, a video game website. It's also a lot of work, and, uh, but it's definitely rewarding. Um, this is a great hobby for me. I have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, it's still, so you can still, okay, finally it loaded. That wasn't too bad. I've got a pretty full bar here. In some cases, I've had situations where it crashes, stuff like that. So you can see this is the latest post. I just posted my Bandai Wonderswan color system review on there. That hasn't been posted on YouTube yet, but it will be a, very shortly. Um, and it's going through, and you can kind of see everything's really small. You can actually make it larger like this and move around. But you got game reviews, system reviews, news shows, stuff like that. So let's click on my Bandai Wonderswan color review. 
And this is how kind of the normal site looks like. It will play videos fine. Um, but you can see it's not very ideal on the phone. It's small and not very user friendly. And then you can play the, the video like so. You can leave comments as well, like you would be able to do on YouTube. Now I'm going to show you the new site design. Let's go to games31.com on a mobile phone. It should automatically detect that I'm using a mobile phone. I thought about doing an app uh, initially, but I figured that's a lot more trouble for you guys. And it be through the App Store and whatnot, and I think this is a lot more user friendly. You can see within a couple of seconds it loads up the site. Here's the main screen. Get the about, game reviews, system reviews, news, shows, podcasts, forums. I've got a really active forums and a community on the site. There's over a thousand members. Uh, they post stuff on there, anything from retro and modern, which is great. So you guys can sign up for the forums. That'd be awesome. Um, here, let's go to uh, game reviews. You can see it posts from the most modern post to the older post. You can see it's a lot more easy to read. Uh, it's not as small as the, the full site version. Uh, here is more hit weed gems, Easter egg hunter. Uh, this is a great one. This is by Chipsters. You guys don't know his channel. James is awesome. Awesome guy. And he finds Easter eggs within different games. It's going to load the, the video. It takes a couple seconds to do that. It just loaded. There's also a discuss thing on here. You can actually leave comments like you would be able on YouTube through whether Facebook or Twitter. It's another thing I have uh, Facebook and Twitter, guys. I'll put links below. I uh, encourage you guys to follow me on there if you guys are interested in what's new to the site. I'm also on Google+. Plus. Let's play the video. You can also play, uh, do it large screen. So that's cool. Let's go back. Go up here to the menu. We go to news. More news. Uh, this is Mike B's game collection. Phoenix Comic Con, I was just there. And he has Pursuit. Uh, let's go to Gamer Eats Natchez by Metal Juice Rocks. He posted this yesterday as of filming this video on a Friday. It's uh, Nacho Recipes. Take a couple, couple seconds to buff. And there it goes. Oh, hit the wrong button. Enlarge it. So it plays really well on the phone. Let's pause it. So anyway, you guys can kind of get the gist of it, but I uh, really appreciate you guys' support for the site. Appreciate you guys supporting uh, the fellow contributors as well on there. Uh, follow me on, on Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Uh, thank you for your support on YouTube, of course, as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Happy gaming. See you soon. Take care.